What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that's kind of up my alley. It's a little silly and a little basic. Let's not get nuts. It's called the Spook Inspectors. Hashtag no racism. Uh, it's a paranormal investigating simulator. You are a paranormal investigator. You have to find ghosts in certain locations. It's right up my alley, man. I love watching ghost adventures. Me and the wife sit down Friday, Saturday night. It's all paranormal investigation stuff. It's all it is in my home. It's all it is. And this kind of gives you a little bit of a basic uh, game towards it. It's uh, I believe it's $3.99 on Steam, so if you want to check it out. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go into certain locations and, as you can see, investigate and try to find ghosts. And then as you uh, find the ghosts, you unlock different things and get a little creeped out. It doesn't have any kind of jump scares, but there are moments where you're just like, what was that? You hear crazy noises. So, let's try a new game here. And let me know what you think in the comment section down below. By day, you have a flourishing career as an eating receptacle ablution management engineer, the person who washes the dishes at the local Happy Spoon Diner. By night, you are an aspiring paranormal investigator, hoping to work your way up to the ranks of the Spook, <laughs> Spook Inspectors Paranormal Society. They're, they're, always, they're always lengthy, the, the groups the names so let's continue spook inspectors describe themselves as scientific investigators although their logo of a sheet ghost has led to some skepticism about that claim dun, dun, dun. there are steep requirements to gain entrance into the illustrious organization illustrious let's not get crazy there's no such thing as an illustrious paranormal investigator there's no such thing as professional uh investigator no one's an expert because you don't know uh, illustrious organization, organization, including demonstrating the ability to explore potentially haunted areas while alone and gather verifiable indications of paranormal activity in the form of infrared, ultraviolet, electromagnetic, and other evidence. Advancement will gain you more than better, uh, more and better devices and a stylish new Spook Inspector's clothing item to wear with pride. Wow. Let's get geared up. Let's start now. I mean, where? Uh, you mean to tell me I can get myself a whole, a whole, a whole kit, a whole gear set? They'll never see, because it was all for uh, first person. Uh, the Happy Spoon Diner is the location of your day job as a dishwasher, which means you can conduct a paranormal investigation simply by staying there late at night after everyone else leaves. Some of your colleagues have described spooky experiences there. So many customers, and not just because of the food. Nerd. Except, let's begin. Whoa. All right, so, we got an infrared... Oh my goodness. <gasps> Got a flashlight. I see you. We have an EMF detector. EMF. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Right click. You seem to have found an entity. Hello, ma'am. I see you. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> They're coming. She... Excuse me? Is there another cat here? Uh, can I get out of here? I'm terrified. Please, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Oh my god. I'm, let's, that ghost can't. They can't go through walls, right? Oh. Okay. I hear footsteps, and I'm not moving. I hear footsteps, and I'm not moving. So the EMF is supposed to uh, detect electromagnetic fields in the area here. Right now it's going super high. This place is crawling with either a spirit or it's got some terrible electrical wiring. I can tell it's probably the wiring. Definitely the wiring. Definitely, definitely the wiring. Definitely the wiring. But we do have to watch our batteries. Oh my God. Please stop walking. Please stop walking, man. Oh my God. Oh, 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 no, ma'am, ma'am, you go now, you get, you get, equip the flashlight, I, I it is equipped, I might have to bounce out of here, no, 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 I am afraid, I am feared, Ma'am, I see you. I see you. We got a bum rusher. Hey, ma'am! 
Matt, can I talk to you about the word of Jesus Christ, our Lord? No, God, no, oh God. <laughs> All right. I'm, oh, no, it's the bathroom. I didn't want to go in the bathroom. Uh, Help? You stay out there, ma'am. Okay. We're going to make a rush for it. Oh, God. Get me out. The door's locked. Oh, God. Continue. Hey, Spook Inspector's team promoted you to trainee. You have advanced to trainee level. In addition to new devices, you have been granted this stylish wool, woolen beanie with the Spook Inspector's logo, which will make you the envy of hobos everywhere. This is, this is correct. It's quite the beanie. You don't see yourself at all. There's no mere nothing. But hey, look at... If I wasn't a paranormal investigator, then why would I be wearing this hat? All right, so... Sip's office... Spook Inspectors. Official office complex of the Spook Inspectors Paranormal Investigation Society. The Spook Inspectors Paranormal Society rents luxurious offices in the basement of a local building in the town of Morleyville. Morley, Morley, Morley. The group's current members are Clyde Gritz, Sheldon Biff Belcher, Tiberius Zeke Ziegelmeyer, and Melvin Gum. How did they find each other? The planets had to align to get these four people with these four names to get together into one building to find a common goal, and that's hunt ghosts. It's friendships, baby. Most of them are surprisingly tall, muscular fellows, except for Melvin, who provides the brains of the group. You could look around, steal yourself a next investigation, or like steal yourself, S-T-E-E-L, uh, or investigate the office itself which has its share of history and alleged unexplained occurrences. Or investigate the office itself. Really? Oh, looks like everything's haunted, huh? Steal yourself. It's You're strong like steel. All right, begin. Begin. All right, so this is our offices here. As you can see, our paranormal investigation equipment has gone up. We have temperature gauges now. We have an infrared, a thermal. Oh, oh, hello. New guy's office. I have a name. It's Diesel. Jeez, don't put anything too heavy on this. Duct tape might not hold. I believe it. Quite the digs you got here, buddy. Thanks. Thank you. Um, thanks? Probably not paranormal. I don't know. Kid's got some long legs with a short torso. That's terrifying, to be honest. That's more terrifying than that, that's for sure. Well, I mean, uh, if in doubt, run. If <laughs> really in doubt, run faster. The official notices board, when new trainee comes, don't do your usual crap. You know who you are. Wahaha, vengeance is mine. Play nice, Zeke. It's friendly office banter. Melvin, none of the building's electrical wiring is extra. Buy your own wiring for your projects. Too expensive. Melvin, knock it off. Or, uh, kids these days, you know, bro. You know what I'm saying, Brian? Oh, check it out. Either those look... Either those are... Just gross things, or they're actual, like, well-together things. Let's get this. What's this? Oh! I can right-click anomalies. Oh, this is like one of those wire gauges, man. This is like uh, having, like, an Xbox scanner in your hand. It's supposed to scan ghosts and wireframe them. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. What is it? Lassie sauce? Okay, good. Good. I'm glad. Is this a microphone? Oh, what are you, what are those? Temperature gauge, we already got that. Equip microphone. I'll equip the microphones. I don't know what those are. We'll grab some. Now I got Dublé flashlights. What are these? Is this sage or a giant crystal? Are these crystals? Because I don't believe in a black tourmaline chunk. It's totally a crystal. I feel like I'm holding a turd. Um, let's put this away. Equip flashlight. Equip black torch. I, I don't want. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> we got something for the boys to punch. Oh, check it out! Hut, hut, bang, bang. Stupid ghost. Stupid Zeke. Mom, I hate you, Dad. I'm just. I'm playing. I'm playing. Impossible darts. Try to hit it with inner zones. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's freaky. We got a lab. It's very sophisticated. 
I can't read the note. It doesn't allow me to zoom in that close. I can't, I just can't do it. Duct tape, necessary for all labs. Restroom. Biff was here. Biff's throne. Biff's true office. Turns out Biff must be the one guy who I never, ever want to meet, ever. All right, let's go check out some more haunted investigations. So where we should go? Green-Eyed Jack Steakhouse. County Road 18. Woo! Green-Eyed Jack Steakhouse is an isolated stretch of road in an old building with a long history of alleged incidents. Green-Eyed Jack Steakhouse advertises massive burgers and steaks. More meat than you can eat. Woo! That's what I tell my wife every night. Ha ha ha! Boom! Got her. And is known for its Bubba's Burgers eating contest as well as other strange activity such as reports of disembodied footsteps, floating lights, unknown figures outside, and something sinister near the restrooms. What? According to the waitress, Maddie Beezer, who are these people? And it isn't just Bob dealing with this constipation, said Maddie. All right, we're back. Welcome. A waitress will seat you eventually. Promise. Got our EMF out. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? What's up? You know, I know it's basic, dude. Like, I know it's 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 nothing like graphically amazing. But then when like you start getting detection, you actually get a little bit of like you get the goose pimples, baby. You get, you get the goosebumps, man. It does get a little creepy, dude. Point one, but then right here. Got anything on the infrared? Anything? Bueller? Click UV pal. Right click anomalies. Don't tell me what to do. What do you think I'm doing? I don't see nothing. There's nothing to scan. There's nothing here. Come on. Uh, uh, how did you die? Uh, <laughs> start asking questions into the wind. What happened? 17.5. Hmm. What is going on? Hi, ma'am. Hello. How are you? Are you are you are you a demon or what are you? Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking for any kind of like there's a handprints or like little scratches or something like that. Ma'am. Negative set negative sixteen. It's freezing in here. And it's so cold. Hi, miss. How are you? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm running. I'm just I'm scared. I'm scared right now. I just wanted to go into the kitchen and see. I just wanted to make myself a dish. I just wanted to make myself a dish. Ah! Holy crap. It's, it, it is creepy and I'm stuck. You want to dance? You want to dance? Huh? Huh? Oh, we could dance. Hello? Okay. We found the anomalies. She's like, you've detected this enemy, this entity before. I'm aware. Is that all? Do I need to get, do I need to detect more? Let's keep you in here. Sounds good. Sounds good. Scary. <laughs> That's ridiculous, bro. Uh, is there anyone in here? No? Okay, we found a ghost. I think we're going to be all right for the time being. Let's get this out of our face. Oh, my God. Is there an entity in the bathroom? Nope, there's an entity out here though. Hello? Let's close that door. Hello? 41? 
Temperature, negative 35. You seem to detect the temperature anomaly before. Oh, so I think it's the same lady. All right, ma'am. You have yourself a fantastic evening. Enjoy your steak. I'm getting the heck out of Dodge, man. <laughs> yes, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm real good. You chose to end this investigation. I know. I'm aware. Thank you. All right. More level. Yeah, it's it's weird because I wanted to see how you qu uh, can equip these because I want to equip this because I can't take that with. Maybe I have to unlock them. I don't know. But I also can't seem to put them down. I don't know how to put them down. Like say if I don't want to have this anymore on my hot bar, how do I go about doing that? I don't know. All right. Well, let's check out one more place. And see if we can find ourselves some nasty ghosts. And gentlemen, gentlemen, Jim. Wow. Okay, gentlemen, Jim Menswear, Morleyville Mall. The store's owner has requested an investigation as gentlemen, Jim's menswear is alleged to be haunted. Employee Bob Gasper often complains about hearing disembodied voices, which in Bob Gasper's case may be, uh, may or may not be paranormal. Mrs. <laughs> Missy Gump often feels creeped out, although that could easily be due to Bob Gasper's nearby presence. It's understandable. Gentleman Jim was founded in 1998 and was intended as an upscale menswear store with a vaguely Victorian theme, feeling itself as a proper gentleman's clothier. Many employees have quit their uh, quit after reporting bad experiences with mannequins. Really? <laughs> oh no, mannequin ghosts, no good. Bert Snively. This town is filled with dumb names. Claimed to have seen an apparition, but was dismissed as nuts. Employees, uh, especially. Report unexplained occurrences late at night while working overtime alone in the store. Fred Sponge comments, If the pointy-haired boss requires me to stay late, I get my stuff done and get out of there. All right. Just topped in. We're already elevated. Elevated thingamabobbers. I think you got to kind of like go through the gambit of the tools in order for the anomaly oh my goodness William is here an unknown one. it's the first time I've ever picked up anything with a thermal maybe we gotta use the thermal more in here hello hello oh I thought that was totally a guy standing there hi how are you temperatures oh she found some stains ew it was on a dark cold night when William took his own life what oh this poor <gasps> this poor guy is sad you seem to have found an unknown entity hey bud hey bud Hey guy, you good? Okay, you step back, get back, get back. Ah! He just walked through the wall. He just walked through the wall. I uh, don't want to turn my back on this guy, but where, where, Bob? Where are you? Were you the one who left the ugly toupee in here? No, that was me. I totally did that. Oh, check out this fancy upscale joint. Let's go ahead and close this on whoever that may be in there. That's terrifying. Uh, this is a lovely back alley of awful. Is there a flashlight going on here? Let's do our temperature gauges. Let's do a baseline reading of EMF. Oh, man. The EMF in this is spiking high. Nine, eight, eight. 8.1, 4.8, okay, that's no, no bueno, but over here, 7.8, oh, 7.7, .7. what the hell? Were those what those guys were dressed like before? I'm terrified, what's happening? I'm telling you, I'm seeing like things move. 
from different characters, like from certain areas. I, I don't know if it's like them being rendered in or not. Mannequin, are you good? Are you Gucci? Oh, my, oh I saw this. I freaked out. I was like, hey, what's going on, buddy? Ah! Uh, hey. Fifteen point four, but then we go back over here. Zero. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. But like you hear different sound effects just like pop in out of nowhere. So you're sitting there like listening. Oh, oh. Some new stains. Gross. Kind of just checking the walls because we got like messages that are getting being written out to us now. Whew. I've detected this anomaly before, have I? And what is it? Telling you, man. What's happening over here? Oh my god, I saw my reflection. <laughs> what the? Okay. Okay. You want to dance? You want to dance? Huh? Is that what you're saying? You want to? You want to? You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> You want to? <laughs> I, I would make the best paranormal investigator. The second I hear a noise, you want to? You want to fight? Uh, let's see. Five point six. These things are terrifying. It's a lady. Have I detected her before? Shine a flashlight on her. Now what? That was if I get close. <laughs> you hear like, you hear that noise. You hear the ghost whisper inside your ear. And you're like, what? Oh, got the goose pimples, baby. All right, I think we've found everything we can find in here. Just saying. Um, it'd be different if like, maybe we can ask it some questions and we get some sort of response back. Ma'am? Ma'am? Excuse me, miss? How did you die? Can I help you? Okay, just making sure that like the, I see three mannequins. There are definitely three mannequins there. There's nothing... Mysterious about it. Sixteen. I'm hearing, I'm hearing some like. I don't think you can hear it because I am going to be playing music during this, but I definitely hear like an ambient kind of like low growl, a gall, kind of like ritualistic type sounds coming from this joint. Well, we found two ghosts. We found two ghosts. We're hearing all sorts of noises. Can I exit out of here? Or do I have to go into the stock room? Oh, I can quit. Fantastic. <laughs> it's creepy, man. It really, really is. Um, I, uh, it's basic for sure. Oh, look at this. Spook investor, <laughs> spook inspectors team promoted you to novice investigator. You are now a novice investigator with access to more devices. Plus this t-shirt emblaz emblazoned. Oh, with a spook. I was like, hold on. What? Emblazoned with the spook inspectors logo. This isn't merely one of those cheap $5 custom printed shirts. It's a $10 one because the spook inspectors team use a do it yourself iron on method. That's even cheaper. Oh, so it's two fifty. It's like my mom. My mom did one of these back in the 90s. Oh, let's go ahead. All right, very cool, man. Well, folks, 
that's going to be our episode for today. If you enjoy this uh, video and you want to see more, the tools of the trade. And you want to see more of the uh, different investigations? There are about, uh, I think there's like eight missions, or not eight missions, but eight places you can investigate. And I'll oh, check it out. We got ourselves a microphone so we can hear EVPs. EVPs. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. We're definitely going to play another one of these episodes. I love uh, Ghost Investigations. I love it. I love it. I hope you do too. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see more. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Oh my god. Everyone, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Hello? Good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. And I'll check you out right here again in the Spook Investigators. Spook Inspectors. That's what it is. It's just a weird, it's one of those weird names. Spook Inspectors. Should be Ghost Hunter Simulator. Very cool. But peace out, like shout y'all. And I'll check you out back in Spook Inspectors. Next time, it's just gonna be weird saying that that word. All right, I don't feel nothing and nothing no more.